Hey everyone, welcome back to the Long Dark. Um, we're here in Bitter Marsh in Ash Canyon. We're in the Burnt Out Fishing Hut, starting episode 16. Um, and if you remember from last episode, we got ourselves in a bit of a pinch here. Um, coming back from the Angler's Den. Bit of harsh weather. We got chased in here by a wolf. Um, yeah, we're kind of left to, um, to decide what we want to do. Um, there's really two options on the table here. I think one of them is to retreat back to the Homesteader's Respite. Which is just up there we have to head back that way and then go up and around but the other way is to go towards Timberwolf Mountain um, starting in that direction we do have two coffees on ourselves along with one that's ready to go so I don't know that could be uh, something we do but I think what's leaning me towards the Timberwolf Mountain direction is gonna be food we got to pick up more cattails on the way you know I'm kind of thinking that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and just face it. Um, just see what we can get ourselves into, I guess. But yeah. Oh boy. This should be interesting. Um, I'm just really hoping the um, wind doesn't pick up. That's going to be the biggest uh, issue, I think, if um, there are an issue. That's what's going to be the biggest thing. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, great. Let's go. Um, it's gonna be more this way. And we are wearing our crampons, too. Um, I really just think I'm gonna have them equipped all the time now. Might as well. Yeah, not hearing anything. Oh, I mean, I am hearing stuff, but not anything too close to us. Um, I do have to thank you guys, too, for hanging in there. Went on a bit of a vacation, um, over the week, so... It's nice. Got a nice little reset, recharge in, but... Um, I am back now, so thanks for hanging in there. Um, I know we kind of left on a cliffhanger last episode, so hopefully we can, uh, we can, uh, make this episode worthwhile of that cliffhanger. Um, it seems like the weather's kind of in, like, a weird gonna change, but not really gonna change state. Not really sure how to describe that. I'm gonna go ahead and drink our coffee. Probably should have made another coffee now that I'm really thinking about it. Um, I think that's okay, though. I think we'll probably end up throwing down another fire. There's a deer up there. No need to be afraid yet. Um, I do think if we get a wolf on us over here, I think we're just going to walk it in. You know, I think we're just going to uh, let it ride. Yeah, there's really not a lot of cattails over here that I was hoping for, which is really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Oh well. I guess we gotta hope the rabbits are in town. Back in Timberwolf or else we're, uh... We're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, looked like it was almost clearing up there for a second. There's a ton of deer over here as well. Is what I'm hearing. I can hear like little scrape noises and such. Pretty sure that's deer, but I'm not totally sure. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just replace this torch. I know we probably have a few more seconds on it, but I'm going to go ahead and get it replaced anyway. And this is not a much better torch, but that's fine. All right, I'm not, I'm not hearing any... I do see a wolf over there, though. I was about to say, I don't see any wolves, but... I was immediately proven wrong. Um, I think this is okay. I think we're gonna move in this. If we get barked at, it is what it is. We'll keep walking it. And what a harsh region, huh? Alright, perfect. And we're almost out. Great. Alright, so this is kind of the home stretch here. Um, I would like to assume the hardest part is over, but... Timberwolf Mountain near the bear can also be a bit of a challenge, so we kind of have to uh, be a little mindful of that. There we are. Nice. Oh, we got that backpack too. Not going to go for it. All right. Yeah, I mean, in hindsight, right, probably wasn't the best idea to leave, um, to leave Angler's Den. We probably could have stayed behind a little bit, maybe got rabbits and spent the night. That way we have a nice, fresh day to work with, going back to Timberwolf, but, you know, 
It is what it is. You make these, you make, uh, these decisions and you kind of have to just work with them. Um, did we get anything else that I could drink? Or was that it? Okay. Let's take one of these. I really think we're going to have to start a fire. Eh, well, not fully warm there. It'd probably be in our best interest to start a fire anyway. Be extra safe about it, you know? Cool. Out of Ash Canyon. All right. Nice. Okay. So, I think now is a good time to start talking about the future plans for what we want to do. Um, now that we're out of Ash Canyon. Which, don't get me wrong, Ash Canyon is an, an awesome region. I love that region. One of my favorites, but it can be harsh like we saw. But anyway, yeah, what we want to do going forward. Um, Timberwolf Mountain, obviously. We want to summit. That's going to be a priority, I think. Because the items up there are going to start to decay very fast. Um, that's just kind of how it goes. And especially since we have really high item decay on some of the stuff in the plane crash in the containers are going to start disappearing soon, you know. So we do have to... Uh, to get on that. But here's the thing. Here's the main kind of challenge. Um, I've been thinking a lot of lately. Is we have no bedroll. And it's really like stupid too. It, I don't know. I, I find it so ridiculous that. We've traveled over. I think almost half. I'd be willing to bet it's almost half. Of the world. And we haven't found a single. Bedroll. I'm going to take these things. Because I think I'm going to harvest them for cloth. Same with the books. What are we at? 86? Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. But it's just absolutely ridiculous. We've been to, like, basically every single region. Um, you know. <laughs> what do we start? Mountain Town? Went down to Mystery Lake. Um, I think, what, over to... Oh, we went, yeah, we went and forged in Desolation. That's correct. So, yeah, we actually went to, like, a lot of the regions, you know? So, it just seems so very odd that there's no bedroll anywhere. Um, now, thankfully, there is a fix to this, and that this is why I picked up the clothing that I just picked up over there. It's because of snow shelters. I think snow shelters are amazing, and especially in this case, when we have no bedroll, um, it's going to be crucial to build snow shelters along the way. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to attempt to summit without a bedroll. <laughs> that seems crazy. Um, yeah, look at this nice weather, guys, huh? Awesome weather. But yeah, we know. Summoning without a bedroll. It can be done. It can be done. But I've always seen people take uh, energy damage from it, you know? We'll have to see, though. We'll have to see. Um, I do know a route up to the summit that you don't have to take any rope climbs. Um, I got to keep watching videos on it. But part of me is just like, now nah, we'll just go in blind, you know? Maybe try to find our own route or something. I don't know. We are getting a little cold here, though. There's no bear around. I wouldn't mind running a little bit. What is that right there? That's a wolf right there. There's no wolf there usually. So now I'm kind of wondering if uh, the bear is nearby, which kind of knocked the, the wolf off its course. That makes sense. Because, you know, every time a wolf gets close to a bear, they, they just run in the opposite direction for miles. So, could be it. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Probably should start a fire over here, though. Yeah, I think we need to. Oh, something got scared. Can't get up here. Oh, let's get up here. Second best thing. Come on. Just so, you know, get a fire going. The bear can't really get us, hopefully. Yeah, there's the bear. Okay. Um, It's pretty risky, but I'm just going to slap a coal on. And I think, you know, we're going to get warm to... Until we're full temperature, and then we'll just head out. Too risky to be staying out here. Especially because the wind is going to change. For sure. It's way too quiet right now. But luckily, the, the Mountaineer's hut's just over there, so... Um, we're okay if we have to make a mad dash for it. 18 coal, guys. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, an aurora's out too. No way. I just heard the aurora. The aurora sounds. Crap. Well, that's not good. Um, that's not good at all. Just our luck, huh? Alright. Now that, that's gonna become an aurora bear. And if you guys don't know what happens when, uh, the aurora comes out and wildlife, it's not great. Especially when you're in my position. Not the most fun. Basically, I guess they just get crazy. Whoa! What is he doing? What is he doing? I, I don't understand anymore. I'm so scared. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a good thing. He, he's... Wow. Talk about buggy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's not stand here and be scared like I am right now. Let's just uh, make some make some teas. Get some teas going. Um, especially right now, because that's going to be really important. Um, food poisoning tonight might have to happen. Just saying. My gosh, though. I mean, what is this? Just absolutely uh, chaos, basically. It's just chaos. What it is. That, that was scary, though. Why was he... The minute he started running this way, I... I <laughs> oh, my. I, I don't know what to say. I'm probably going to... Try not to drink another coffee, but I think we're going to anyway because of the... The warmth bonus that we will get. Um, let's go ahead and put down another T. Probably do this one here. Gotta really get my head back in the game here. But that bear ran that way. Um, I think that was a dead end, so I don't know how far that in that direction he ran. But it couldn't have been far. Um, yep, put down the other coffee here. Cool. I'm gonna take this back. I think all we're gonna need is these two. I don't wanna save a lot of it to set that up towards the summit. And I also think we're gonna wanna grab the container over there before we head to the summit. We're not doing it tonight, obviously, but sometime. Sometime soon. Okay, two hours on that. I'm gonna wait until we're fully uh, rested up here and then we're gonna try to take the high road. Um, I don't mind going near the bear cave because the bear is obviously not in town anymore. I, what spooked him? <laughs> what? Like, I, don't, I don't get it. That's fine, though. No complaints. No complaints at all. Unless he comes running back, then we're going to have a little bit of a problem. Okay, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. The fire's not going to do any good just sitting here. Um, thought it was getting warm, so... Yeah, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to leave this nice hot fire. Um, what are we looking at for weight? 82? That's fine. Let's go, guys. I'm um, running into an Aurora wolf, though, would be pretty bad. Definitely would be not the best. I'm going to grab this, though. Just because I know for sure he's not home. Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go take his stuff. Take his rashies real quick. Watch him come back. He just has that feral sense that I took his stuff. Alright though. Um yeah, that coffee's gonna have to be in order right now. Go ahead and drink that. Yeah man, I don't know. We're burning through stuff. Burning through coffees. It's really not good, to tell you the truth. It's really not good. Um, but yeah, I don't know. You, you just, you have to do it. I always say, you know, survival's in the moment. You just gotta do what you can now to survive. I guess some of it is planning for the future as well. Planning for the future is always really helpful. But when it comes to the now, you gotta do anything you can. All right. There likes to be wolves over here, so that's why I'm just kind of taking the high road. I haven't heard any, but Aurora wolves do tend to be pretty quiet. 
is what I found out. All right, I'm gonna say that's a uh, it's a no on the wolves over here. We'll go ahead, go down here. I'm gonna try to take it slow. I know the temptation to sprint is so there's a ton of temptation to sprint, but we're gonna try not to do it too often because we are under a uh, an energy crunch, if you will. I also want to get back ASAP so we can sleep and save calories. Because calories are hard to get to. Hard to get by on um, these days, so I have to do that. But hey, looking on the bright side, okay? Looking on the bright side of things, the guts are cured. The guts are definitely cured. It's been, I think, five days. So, technically, we could start making our bow. And obviously, you know that once you have the bow, life starts to get a lot easier. And that's, I think, what we need right now. <laughs> we, we need at least something to go our way. So, let's go ahead and just grab these two. That's 300 calories right there. That's pretty good. Not bad. I'll always take that. The rabbits don't seem like they're in town right now. Um, so, we'll have to... Uh, We'll have to check up on them in the morning if they decide to show up. More cattails over here. I think I'm going to stop and get them. For sure. Because it's going to be our food for the night. And maybe if we're really lucky, we can get some food for the morning as well. Um, that way we can, you know, start crafting our bow. Which takes, I believe, 10 hours to craft. So, not a, not a light thing. Could also go ice fishing too, but ice fishing in Dead Man, I don't know. You have more lucky, you have more, um, <laughs> you have more luck finding a, uh, a needle in that haystack. Fish just don't exist in this mode. At least not in the early, uh, the early days. Wow, guys. Um, I don't want to speak too soon, but it does seem like we made it back with no incident. Keep taking it easy, though. Could be right behind here. Just wouldn't know. I'm gonna take a second. Grab these sticks. Alright. Head in. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what a journey back. Nice. Hard part over. Really awesome, guys. Really awesome. What's it gonna take me to these two? Alright. Um, let's go ahead and drop what we need to drop here so that definitely stay there great look at the guts guys all cured oh my gosh it feels really good that's awesome uh, i think i'm gonna put the torch out for now um, i'm gonna keep the firewood on me just in case i guess we could start a fire it is 43 in here it's pretty cold but i think we're gonna wait on it i think we're gonna wait but while it's at least still a little bit warm let's go ahead and eat a little something Probably gonna have to use the cattails. I don't want to eat these. It's like guaranteed food poisoning. You know? I don't know. I think we just have to. Boy. Okay. Tell you what. Let's go ahead and light this fire. 38 sticks. Eh, that, I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and light it. If we get food poisoning, then we just have the fire and add, you know as much fuel on it as we need and we can go to sleep for however many hours um yeah i don't know maybe i might do just one hour for now just to get at least a little energy back yeah we have an hour on the fire that's fine some of those sticks on the sticks go by fast so we do have to be a little bit careful of that nice fatigue reduced just in time for us being home that's great Okay, so let's go ahead and just sleep one hour. I think we have the calories for it. We'll be okay. Okay. All right. Mm, food poisoning, though. That's 10 hours of sleep, and look at the time, right? Just after midnight, early morning. Maybe not the best time to get food poisoning. 
Maybe not the best time. Oh, I'm gonna throw a coal on just because. Go ahead and eat some of that. That's definitely food poisoning right there. That zero percent for sure. And we'll have to rely on bunnies, unfortunately, when we wake up. I'm not gonna do three hours. I'm gonna do what? Two hours, right? Yeah. The sooner we sleep, the more calories we save. So that's good. That's good. But hey, I mean, in Ash Canyon, we've been on this low calorie stunt before, you know? And we made out okay, so I'm willing to trust me on this one as well. And sticks on. Okay, we have 20 left. It's an hour there. Um, yeah, we should be okay to sleep for one hour. This at least gives us a little energy back so we can start, you know, maybe crafting the bow in the morning. Um, you know, I just at least get to that warmest part of the day, which is the afternoon. 39 minutes on that. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to start going out and, and looking for bunnies here pretty soon. All right, I'm going to just sleep an hour, and then I think we should go out and start looking. Looking for bunnies and some sticks as well. Let's do it. One hour. All right. 32 on the fire. Okay. Um, coldest time of the day, but, you know, it is what it is. We got to go out and look for stuff. Uh, it's probably best to keep this out, I would say. Um, let's just go ahead and drop the food poisoning foods for now. We're taking some weight in the inventory that just doesn't need to be taken. Uh, we'll drop ten of those just to keep us a little lighter as well. And let's just drop the books because we're not going to be reading anytime soon. Okay. We got a little bit of food. And we have a little bit of energy. Let's see if we can capitalize on it. I'm going to go see if the rabbits are in town over here. Um, if not, it at least was a hopefully a good stick run. Head this way a little bit. Probably should have kept the buffs down too. And probably should have checked the time on the fire, but I think we're okay. Um, we're not going to be too long here. There's one stick. Great. I need rabbits though. That's the key item. Oh, nothing. No rabbits at all. Yikes. Okay. Okay. All right. What I, well, I think what I'm going to do is we'll go inside. We'll get warm. We'll sleep an hour. And then I think I'm going to head to the other side of the lake and grab some more cattails. Um, that way, hopefully, we can get enough tails to sustain us until we have a bow. And obviously, once we have the bow, we can start shooting uh, some deer, hopefully. Um, even a wolf, too. Wolves are, are nice. Unfortunately, though, any meat eater, uh, you know, anything you take down, aggressive wildlife, they do give you um, parasites, except for moose. But moose, I think, is a little bit beyond us right now. Okay, let's head back in here. We'll eat our cattail, and we'll go to sleep. 50 minutes, yeah, perfect. Nice. Okay. Let's eat our lonely cattail. Yikes, guys, huh? It's really coming down to it. Really coming down to it. Sleep an hour. Get us nice and warm, and then we'll have to head across the lake, I think, regardless of if there's a wolf or not, and just look for cattails. Okay. 54 minutes on the fire. That's fine. No wolves on the lake. Isn't that a surprise, huh? Probably should have... You know, <laughs> hooked up a tea. I don't learn my lesson ever. We'll be okay. Once we hit half temperature, we'll turn around. Man. Yeah. Stressful city. Basically is what this is. There's some cattails over here. Looks like there's quite a few. Looks like there could be quite a few over there as well. So we'll go ahead and, and purge this area. Oh, just one. Oh, I guess it's one more than we had, right?
something over here as well. What is this? Firewood? Hey, I'll take that. It's awesome. Yeah, firewood's welcomed. Um, yeah, there's gonna be more cattails up there for sure. Okay. Gotta head back. Um, once we start getting to quarter temp, I'll start sprinting. Yeah, interesting. Okay, well, I think we found one cattail <laughs> out of that. More calories than we had. I don't know, guys, though. I really think food poisoning is going to have to be a thing. You know? I mean, that's what? 600 calories for the two sardines and then... Another 500. So that's 1,100 calories in total that we could have. Um, which is really awesome. I will take that any day. I'm going to go out of my way to take these. We'll be okay on temp. We'll get in just in time. Nice. Awesome. Okay. 40 minutes on that. Well, that's not going to do. I'll do that for now. One cattail. Yikes. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is pick these up first. Okay. Put this down. Definitely. We're going to also put down one of these. Nice. Okay. Put that, put that down as well. Birdie till burn, that's fine. Okay. Take this, take this, take one of these. And let's go get some more cattails on this river. You know, it's a grind. To grind. We're literally just trying to keep ourselves alive right now. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. I mean, just getting a buff. Just taking a buff, right? Just to go get some cattails. It, it's pretty harsh, but it needs to be done. It needs to be done. We have to get enough cattails in order for us to um, start making our bow. I would say, in theory, about 20 cattails would do the job. But, you know, are we ever going to get 20 cattails? Probably not. But well, let's see. You never know. It's a real blessing, though, that the wolves aren't here. That's, um, that's a bit of a shock. But it's also a bit of a, uh, a lucky break. Let's go ahead. I'm going to just head up a good distance up the river. Not too far, but just enough to get a few, a few going, but... Here's another one. Nice. Um, I believe that's probably going to be it. Maybe there's a few more up here. No. Okay. Well, how much did that give us? Two? That's 300 calories. Well, I mean... It's something. Something. Yeah, we really need to, um... Get those rabbits back. Those rabbits back for sure. Here comes the wind. At least we're sheltered. I think while we're sheltered, I'm going to drink a... Uh, drink a... Yeah, rose sip is good. Gives us some calories back too, which is always nice. Our torch is going to go out, so I'm just going to throw it. Uh, which way is the wind coming out of? Coming out of this way. Okay. I think what I also want to do is head over to that food container that's over there. I really think that's going to be a uh, a lifesaver for us. Yeah. And you know who? You know who knows? Like, there could be some coffee in there. Could be. Could be. Could be. Man, let's just get back. This headwind is brutal. Yeah, it's a headwind, of course. It's always got to be when you're in a rush. Oh, horrible. We'll make it, though. We'll be all right. It's shaded by this a little bit. Nice. All right. Okay. 
Well, unfortunately, I just don't think we're gonna have enough food to be able to start crafting our bow. I just don't think it's gonna happen. 10 hours, we need 10 hours worth of food. And right now I think we have three at the most. That's not gonna work. Not gonna work out. Um, to keep this fire going, right? While we're out. I don't think we don't. I don't think we don't. Might be a little crazy, but... Yeah, I don't know. We gotta cook this stuff, though. Whoops. Uh, some water wouldn't be bad. Be a bad thing to cook. Let's go ahead and just toss down this. And I think we... No, we don't have another coffee. We have to make it. We have to make it, and we have to be very sparing about it as well. Gotta make sure not to use that just out of nowhere. We have to strategically say we need it and then drink it. Oh, look at the look at the um, the food right now. Oh, it's so harsh. It's so harsh. The wind did stop though, so I think I'm gonna use this as a opportunity to move. We'll eat both of these. Hopefully we can find like some crackers and stuff in the bins. That would be cool. I'm going to take both of those. Go ahead and take all of these and let's go to the container over there. Hopefully it can give us some nice stuff, but we'll see. Um, back here is usually okay, I think. I think sometimes there's even some reishis. It sounds like there's wolves back here. I think there might be, actually. Yeah, always go going back here is just always really risky. Always really risky. You always want to have something on you. Alright. Yeah, in case we have to draw a gun, you know, distress pistol. Um, <laughs> My finger's ready. Press on the X key to bring that out. We'll do it if we have to. Um, this seems like ankle sprain city. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the torch. I'm gonna take a new one. Might as well. I've been surprised over this hill before. Um, alright. They're definitely in this bowl over here, for sure. How to get around them. Alright. I do apologize if I go quiet. I'm just trying to listen out for them. Just trying to listen out, that's all. Oh yeah, look at here they are. Oh, and they're guarding a... They're guarding a deer. Ooh. Okay. That's my deer. That has my name on it. That for sure has my name on it. Let's go ahead and throw a rock over there. Hopefully they find find that out. No, oh, nice. Both of them. Awesome. Um, that deer's mine. Um, no matter how you look at it, that's my deer. Um, if I had another rock, I would go ahead and do another throw, but I don't. Sorry. Sorry. Just passing through. Just passing through. Just passing through. That's all. Just passing through. Hey, hey, hey. Let's calm down here. Let's calm down. There's there's no, there's no reason to get up tight. Uh, you know? I, it's just... Your kill looked really good, and I just wanted to look at it. That's all. So I'm just starting a fire to take an even better look at it. Right? That's all it is. Can you go away? You can't go away. I see. Well, I'm sorry to say, sir. This is mine. Um, I have a boatload of torches that you can have. Here, take this one. Yeah, you like that. You liked that one. Don't come over here. Uh, how about your friend? Do you want a 42%, sir? You look like a 42% type of guy. Here you go. 
One for you. Ooh. Spot on. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and just take this immediately. 13 minutes, that's fine. I think we have enough hunger for that. Oh, guys, it's going to come down to it. This is going to come down to it. Um, 900. Put this small one on. 20 minutes to cook. We should be okay. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm going to try not to move around. Um, wow, stroke of luck. An absolute stroke of luck. That's all I can say. We're warming up nicely as well. Um, Alright, I'm going to try not to move. Rose hips here we can take later once we eat. I'm, I'm still going to make it to that food container. I think it's still a priority. Um, energy's looking a little eh. Could, could use some more energy. Nice. Uh, what, what condition is it? 78. I'm just going to eat it anyway. Nice. Alright, got a little bit back, right? That's all you can ask for. A little bit. It's getting foggy, too. Don't mind that. That's not bad. Foggy's usually good. Take both of these. We can prepare them over by the fire. 15 minutes. I can do that. I can work with that. Sure. Do that. Forest Cave is also a place I want to go check. Um, hopefully, maybe there's a bedroll. Um, I don't know. At this point, bedroll's a lost cause, right? <laughs> I mean, it's just so elusive. I don't think we'll ever find it, but you gotta have faith. Not like the George Michael song, Faith, but, you know. That is a great song, though. These wolves have to have a little faith, too. A little faith doesn't hurt. Alright, well, I think we're just going to leave these guys in the dust. Um, I think we're going to move on to better better things. If that wolf does detect me, though, I think I will run back to the fire. Looks like he's walking away, though. He was walking away. Okay. Yeah, fair trade-off. They can have their deer carcass back and I'll go to Forest Cave. I think that's cool. I think that's a good trade-off. Cool. All right. No. That's not for me. Is it? Well, I'm going to act like nothing happened and I'm just going to go. You guys have fun with your deer carcass. Oh, shoot. I do have a coffee, right? I unfortunately do think we're gonna have to take a coffee um it's unfortunate i know can i get to this without spraining yes guys all right let's head this way i'd be willing to bet it's relatively more safer than going down into that the death bowl as i call it The death bull, you know? I mean, it's just the moose, the bear, wolves, deer, everything down there. Absolutely everything. It's a mess, but it can be rewarding. And I'm going to Forest Cave in hopes of rewards, so. Okay, I'm going to go down this back way. Um, Man, a bedroll would be super nice right now. I think I would cry on camera if we find a bedroll. Gotta say. I think I would. That's cold. I'm not going to drink that. That doesn't do any good. Um, that's not bad. I think that. Sprain risk. Of course. The energy, guys. Ugh, the energy. It's a killer. An absolute killer. Alright, we'll, we'll see what this guy has back here. Probably nothing. Just like, you know, everything. Oh my gosh, peaches. No, I, you know, I take it back. He had something. He had something. He had peaches. Poor guy. I'll, I'll eat his peaches for him. Um, yeah. 
probably should have equipped a better torch, but this is fine. I think I'm going to go into the cave and start a fire. I'm really, really reluctant to drink that last coffee. I really don't want to. And it's my fault. I should have left with more energy. Then again, I mean, you know. I just didn't have any time to sleep because of the food issue. What is going on over there? I'm hearing so many howls and, and cheers. You know what the wolves are doing probably? They're probably just laughing at me. Like, look at this guy. Can't even find a bedroll. What a loser. We just sleep outside. Yeah, that's probably what's happening. It's fine, though. There's some reishis up here, though. There's a lot of reishis, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, there are. There's a ton. Um, okay. Well, this is something, right? Something to consider. They're close. They're close by. I think I'm just gonna dip into the cave. Maybe there's a bedroll. You never know. Probably shouldn't be banking on a bedroll, because I know there's not gonna be one. But, it's fine. You just gotta check. As long as there's food, I think I'll be happy. A forest cave. Some firewood. But, that's about it. Yeah. That's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate. Okay. Well, what I gotta do is, you know, put down a fire, right? That's all you can do. I think we're just gonna make the coffee. We're gonna cook the coffee, and I think we're gonna head back to, um... No, we gotta head over to the crate. That's right. Yeah, we gotta head over to the crate. Alright. Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah. I th Yeah. Uh-huh. I think that's what's gonna happen. Um, I hate... I hate... I don't know, guys. You know, here's the thing. The coffee. We could find a lot of coffee in this. Or we could find no coffee in this. Um, and that's really going to come down to it. Because look at, look at my energy right now. You know? We have one coffee on us. And I think we have... No, we don't have any other. So it's either this coffee or... <laughs> no coffee, really. Okay. Okay. We, we just... We have to get into the crate. And we have to find something. We do have our hacksaw. Um, 79%, so it's good. I'll be able to open it. Oh, my. My, my, my. Alright. It almost seems like the episodes get harder and harder as we go, huh? Special thing about Dead Man. Definitely. Oh, the guy's just a deer over there. Okay. Oh, hey, look at the bear. Hey, okay. Cool. Yep, there was a deer over there. I'm not going to go down this way. Guys, I think I am going to eat up the coffee and drink it. It's our last one, I know. But we have to... Oh, crap. Did I screw myself? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Just really hope the bear doesn't get involved here. Because if the bear sees us, you know. What are we going to do, right? Okay, this is awesome, though. This is good. Um, I'm gonna get down there and start a fire, I think. There's a lot of food to be had if we're smart about it. Lots of food to be had, for sure. Alright, I see no choice but to drink a coffee at this point. We're here. Storm Lantern, not interested. Um, I'm going to put a stick in as a fire starter, but I think I'm going to use a pole to really get it going. As long as the bear doesn't come back this way, we're okay. I'm going to assume since he pathed over here, he's not going to be back for a little bit. Um, whether that's a silly assumption... You know, we'll have to see. I'm going to warm this coffee up before I drink it. Um, can I? I'll let this go out. And I'm also going to drop another one of these. That way we have it. 
All right. Okay. Stress level 100, but we can do this. We can do this. Nice. Oh, that was a good one. That's what I wanted to do. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, nice. Hey, you know, just a can of peaches? That, that works for me. Whoops. Try that again. Try that an another time. Oh, gotta get it right. Nice, there we go. Alright, come on, coffee. Finish up on the fire there. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, no way. We have, another we have a second chance at life. That's crazy. I cannot believe we just found that. Okay. Um, you, you best believe we're going to be using those as sparingly as humanly possible. Um, I also want to head over there and, and take the deer as well. But the problem with the deer is that it's going to take another coffee to probably get back to the mountaineer's hut. I think I just say go for it, you know? Nine minutes on that. Gotta be a little careful. Got nine minutes. Oh my gosh, four pounds, 18 minutes. Okay, that coffee can kind of burn. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, take that back. Um... There's really no small piece with these two, because that was such a large deer. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. What a what a turn of events. What a turn of events. I cannot believe it. Alright. After this coffee, I'm not going to drink anymore until we summit. I just think that's the best idea. Um, I think we should get home and sleep while we can, and then we can wake up, start a fire, and start on our bow. That way we can get a good food supply coming. Yeah. Yeah, I really think that's that's going to be the best idea. Um, let's go ahead and put on a cedar. Be here for a little bit. Alright. I'll fast forward a little bit at a time. Just got to make sure everything's still okay. We're all good here. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to have to drink another coffee to get home. That's okay, though. That's alright. Oh, nice. That filled us up nicely. Uh, it's fogging over pretty good. That's okay. Don't mind that. Storm Lantern. Point ten. How much does ours have? Ours has more, so let's just drop this one. I don't really find myself using the Storm Lantern as much, you know? Probably just could drop it and carry a torch. I think that's what I might do in the future. Alright. Eat that. That's gonna fill us up. Yeah, awesome. How much calories are left? 183, not enough to stay for, in my opinion. I think we're going to move it. I'm going to skedaddle. Um, try to get back as safely as possible. Yeah, that's good. All right, eat a little bit before we go. Nice, and I drop that. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and drink the coffee right. Not right now. Probably soon, though. Yeah, I'm going to head in this direction just because I saw a deer. And I'm going to enable the, uh, the crouch walk for this one. Not the most energy efficient, I understand that, but... Hey, at the end of the day, it gets the job done, right? So if we bump into the bear, um, initial thoughts on that. Probably not the smartest idea to do that but i would also argue it's a if we have a enough of a distance between us and him then it's probably not the worst idea just because he can be kind of like a shelter um like like a protection against wolves that's what i almost view the bear as sometimes so i don't know i can go either way i'm gonna go ahead and drink that coffee now get us nice and warm get our drink up there. Awesome. You know what's great? We're walking away 
from this with peaches to eat. You know? I mean, obviously we have more food on us, but... We're walking away with, like, actually a can of peaches we can eat. I believe it was, like, 30-something percent. I'll have to check. Okay, so the bear went that way. Um, I can tell you which way we're not going to go. It's that way. Just going to grab some height here. Going to grab some height. If we take a few points of condition damage because of energy, so be it. Energy damage is pretty low. It's pretty low, so I don't mind. Um, and honestly... We do take a few points. I wouldn't mind taking a stim as well. Um, that way we can sleep through some of the night. Or at least sleep through some of the night we know we uh, we can sleep through. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, I thought that was the bear. He's close. I'm going this way. What are these? These are wolf tracks. I'm so scared right now. I don't know what direction he went. I think he's down there. want to get on those rocks. I like those rocks. They're safe. Man, I don't know where he went. No. No, there, there's wolf tracks on the rocks here. Are you serious? No way. Okay, um, stressful. Should have picked up more rocks. Uh, that's another lesson. He's going to be over that way. So that means I'm going to be over this way. It's, it's playing hide and seek with the bear. That's what this is right now. I almost feel like we'd save more energy just full on sprinting with the distress pistol in our hands. Might not want to do that though, but I'm considering it. Um, is this the dip where the rabbits are? I think it is. I think that's the lake. No. Where am I right now? Oh boy. Okay. Well, this is something. This is quite something. By the time we get home, we're going to be like... Hungry again. Alright, this is fine. Keep a steady pace. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Oh, no. I think we're in the death bowl again. No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're okay. I'm actually going to use this opportunity to pick up some sticks as well. Be smart about it. Alright, calm, calm music playing. I like it. I like it. I can get behind it. I'm not hearing any wolves in our immediate vicinity, which is, you know, obviously always cool. Um, I'd love this fog to lift so we can find out where we are for sure. That would be cool. Where are we right now? I'm very confused. And this is how you die, getting confused. <laughs> um, okay. 
That's fine, I guess. Oh, no way. This is exactly where I thought we were. We're across. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I'm going to deem we're safe. Just run it. Yeah, we're out here where the cattails are. Wow, we we were severely misguided. I thought we were somewhere we were not. Wow, guys. Wow. I'm sweating so much right now. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, I think we're going to take a point or two of condition damage. That's fine, I guess. I think we're going to sleep it. I think we're going to sleep it. And I also think we're going to be taking a emergency stim. Um, even if we lose damage to energy or not, I think we're going to take it. I think we're down to 85%, and a stim gives you 15%. So it could be worth just, you know, taking one, just because why not? Got to spec up to 100. Yeah, I, th I think that's a good idea. Yeah, that's crazy how you, you can end up over there. The fog completely throws you off track. Even if you know the map like the back of your hand. You can still just throw in a curveball with the weather. Awesome. Well, I'm happy, obviously, because we made it back. That's awesome. Um, totally worth the container trip. Totally worth it. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to describe how worth it it was. It was just so worth it. Um, we'll take that. I'm gonna drop that. I think we'll just light one if if uh if we need to light a fire. Um, let's just do a condition check. 85%. Yeah, we could take a stim right now. We definitely could. Um, maybe we will. Maybe we will. Um, yeah, we got four of them. Wow. That's a lot. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and use one. Um, I'll drink up here so we can sleep maybe an hour or two. Um, just so we can get some energy back. Are we looking for temp? 58 degrees in here. Yeah, I don't have a problem with sleeping. Let's use it. Awesome. So that gives us 15% back. Um, let's go ahead and maybe just put in two hours for the moment. Oh, I'm not tired enough. Oh, that's right. That's right. We have to wait until this um, this energy kind of fades. Um, okay. Just tear down a torch maybe in the meantime. I think it lasts 10 minutes in game. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Um, yeah, nine minutes. Nine minutes on that. Okay, let's tear down a few of our torches here. Whoops. Yeah, nine minutes, two, two, that's four. So we can we can take four minutes. I'm not going to do six minutes. I think that's a little close to uh, what we need to be doing, which is sleep. Sleep while it's warm, you know? Three minutes. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to break down a torch. I don't want to lose a percentage. Um. All right, let's get ready All right, and sleep. That way we don't lose a, a point, you know? That would be not the greatest. Not the greatest. Nice. Awesome. Let's see what we're up to. Yeah, look at the condition, guys. Oh, my gosh. Um, 100%. Oh, my gosh. Feels good, huh? Back up to 100. That's awesome. Really, really awesome. Um, And our food's still looking good. Um, but I think we're going to want to sleep before we do any more crafting. So let's go ahead and just put in... Let me do another two hours while it's warm. I think we're going to call it an, ep an episode. Man, it's been stressful. I can't even speak right today because I'm so stressed. Man, that was fun though. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And, you know, we go from really struggling in Ash Canyon to back up to 100% with three-quarter full stomach in Timberwolf Mountain. Man, what an episode, you know? What an episode. I'm not I'm actually gonna try not to move around too much because I don't want to waste any energy or hunger. So I think I'll just end it here. So guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and thank you for putting up with um with waiting for another video. I really do appreciate it. Sometimes life comes up and uh can't really have them out too often, but I'll try my best to keep them on the daily, maybe once every two days since I go back to college pretty soon. But yeah, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I really do appreciate the support. I really hope to see you all in the next episode.